Hi everyone, so today I'm going to talk about products that I'm really excited about. Um, I was in Superdrug the other day and I saw this and got very excited in the shop which was a bit embarrassing as I did do a little squeal <laughs> and people did look but what the hell, I get really excited about makeup so fuck it. So the products that I'm going to talk today about is by Barry M and it is one of the lip paints that, oh, certainly it's the first time I've ever seen it out and I, you know, look at makeup quite a lot. So this is the Neptune Lip Paint. So it basically comes in this little package and Barry M packaging I would say it's normally pretty awful but this one doesn't look too bad to be honest. So what's special about this lipstick is that it has a kind of special technology in it so when you open up and you see it you're like oh that's a bright blue lipstick you know and obviously for most people a colour like this is not going to be a wearable everyday colour but there's a little difference it doesn't actually turn out this colour on your lips it's got some kind of technology that basically means that it actually turns into a kind of plum shade on your lips and they have another one like this which is called the genie and this is basically it's a green lipstick and this one turns out pink on the lips and it's beautiful I absolutely love it so I have high hopes for the Neptune one now they are both straight up dupes from a high-end brand called Lipstick Queen so the Neptune one is a dupe for it's called Hello Sailor and the genie one is a dupe for the frog prints uh, I have tried the Lipstick Queen ones I've actually own quite a lot of their lipsticks and I actually think that the Barry M ones are so much better. The Lipstick Queen ones will set you back about £22 or so and one of these will set you back £5 and you can often get Barry M on three for two. So this one is a lot more pigmented I would say and the Lipstick Queen ones are a lot more sheer. I think they're both very hydrating, they're not matte lipsticks at all so they will come off you know if, when you do anything you know have a wee drink out your brew or anything like that but they're lovely really nice to wear so I have uh, put a scrub on my lips this is my natural lip colour okay I know it's really pigmented but you know you'll see there's nothing on there I've uh, like I say I've scrubbed them and everything and just made sure there's literally no product on so let's get cracking here let's use the Neptune one So that's it on. The colour changes quite quickly as well. So when you put it on it does look blue and then it changes quite quickly and just develops a little bit more intensity. Uh, so I think it's stunning. I think it's a beautiful colour. Now when you do look at it initially it does have that blue sheen to it and then it does change like I said and the blue kind of settles into the cracks of your lips and you, it does change but you can still kind of see that there's something there and you get this kind of oh, I don't want to call it but yeah let's go for it I, this kind of unicorny effect that kind of thing you know that lovely kind of sheen several colours going on that whole thing so yeah it does look really stunning I think that's really wearable shade as well so for somebody who's maybe thinking about wanting to try a plumish lipstick you know something a bit purpley I think this is a great one to start with you know it's lovely it feels gorgeous it feels really nice what's it smell like actually it's odorless which to be honest I much prefer that in a lipstick I hate these really strongly scented ones you know I hate the smell of MAC lipstick I love the, the looks of them but I absolutely despise the smell so that's that one I think it's gorgeous love it love it pink fluffy bits so I'm just going to take this off and then well I've got the genie one out anyway so I might as well show you that it looks like so you can see the difference between the two of them <laughs> actually it's kind of cool when you do take it off of a bit of tissue so you can actually see the blue on it so you see the purple but you can also see a little bit of the blue on it yeah that's kind of cool uh, let's just make sure there's nothing else on there so that's it all off <laughs> so let's give the little genie a go Mm. 
Mmm. Lovely. So I thought the Neptune one kind of settled into the cracks and had almost like a, a duochrome kind of sheen to it. The Genie one's just flat out pink, you know. It's lovely. Really nice, really wearable. You know, it's definitely kind of a go-to for me. Like I said though, it's not a matte, so it will transfer. You know, you can see there, a bit of transfer. So expect that to happen, but I expect that of any lipstick that's not a matte to be honest. So yeah. I'm very happy with them. I think they're both fantastic little additions to my makeup collection. And like I say, you know, if you're interested in kind of trying one of the lipstick cream ones, well, by all means, go ahead. They're beautiful lipsticks. They absolutely are. But if you don't want to splurge that much money, then fiber. You know what I'm saying? All right. So I hope this was useful to you and have a nice day. Bye.